all I do do And if you saw my love You'd love him too Alright guys, completely forgot about this, but when I went to make this video, I completely forgot. I was so excited that I did not even film an intro, so that's what I'm going to do real quickly here. So basically what's going on guys, it is now day four in Alabama. We are back in Birmingham, no longer in Selma unfortunately, and we are headed back to the golf course pond. And originally I was just going there to catch some bass, you know, have a good day, but things take a very interesting turn as you'll see. It's pretty crazy, but the video is an absolute banger guys. I hope you will enjoy. It's a good one, so hopefully you guys will enjoy. All right guys, I've made it to the golf course ponds. Just gonna try starting off throwing the brush hog here. It's what I caught two fish on in this pond the other day. I only fished this pond like six casts the other day and I caught two fish in the brush hog. So I made quick work of it. So what I'm gonna do today is start off with the brush hog. The only thing guys that kind of surprised me was I came over here and look at this. There is a pretty good size dead rainbow trout sitting over here. I mean, that's a, that's a good size fish. That's like a 16 inch rainbow trout. I mean, that's the size of the ones I was catching in Colorado earlier this year. And the ones I was catching there were really big. I mean, that's a good eating trout. And the thing that's weird to me is, I mean, I knew my grandfather who goes to the club here, he already told me that they do have trout in these ponds during the winter time. So I knew there were trout in here. But the thing is, just like Austin, it gets up into mid 90s in summertime here. I and mean, that's too hot for trout to live in. But the thing is, that trout's really big. Like that's not a stock trout that's only been here for like a year. So that's the thing, it's like, what? How is that trout, how is that trout so big, you know, after only living one year? There's no way, that trout has to have been in here for a while. That makes you believe, that makes you wonder, are there more in here? So I'm gonna fish for bass for a little while, guys. And then if I catch a few bass, I might try fishing for trout, cause that, that's a sign that there probably are trout in here still that are alive. After that, that guy's just really tough and he made it through and other ones couldn't, but I mean, that fish just died recently. I mean, that fish was not here the other day. Like, that fish just died. Probably of old age, honestly. I mean, that was a big fish. I don't think it, because it's cold right now. So I don't think it died of being cold. I think it just probably died of old age. I don't know. There could be other trout in here somehow if they survived the summertime here. Or they may have just recently restocked them. But I think I might try fishing for the trout here in a minute, guys. See if that works out. But definitely going to try and catch a few bass here first because I've already caught a ton of trout this year. There we go. Fish right there. Get up here, buddy. There we go. All right, first fish of the day. Not a bad one, actually, too. There we go. Starting to get a little worried there. It almost made a full trip around the pond. I hadn't caught anything. Pitched it right near a little grass over there, and little buddy hammered it. Pretty fish. Good first fish of the day. Let's get him back. Whew. All right, that feels good. I was getting a little worried there. I made almost a full trip around the pond, hadn't caught anything yet. This pond was so good the other day. I was like, God, what's going on, man? It's good to finally get our first fish. Good bite by him. Good little fight too. That was a trout. Okay, we're gonna trout fish now. All right, after seeing that trout jump, I've confirmed there are living trout in this pond. And you know what? I've already caught a bass today. Bass bite's been a little slow. I'm gonna try and catch a trout. I mean, why not? I already caught quite a few this year, but I haven't caught any since summertime, so it'd be pretty cool to catch one again. It'd be pretty cool to say that I caught a trout in the middle of fall in a Birmingham, Alabama country club pond. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, I got hit. No way. I actually got bit. Holy crap. Okay, this actually might work. I got bit. This actually might work. Got a fish. No, I had a fish right there. Why do I keep missing them? That has been a trout. That felt like a trout. Oh my God. Dude, there are trout jumping everywhere. This is insane. I gotta catch one, just one. Oh my God, I got hit again. Jesus, I keep hitting it, but they're missing it. All right, guys, I am so determined to catch a trout that I have now put four pound test on my spinning rod setup. up. To make this hopefully a little bit easier, one, to get much better casting distance, and also two, just hopefully hook up, because I've had four bites now and not a single hookup. So I'm thinking this could make it a little bit easier, just a lighter line, you know? I don't know, we'll see if it works, but I'm really, really wanting to catch just one trout now. I've gone through all this trouble, so hoping we can get just at least one. Got one, finally, finally got one. Finally got one. Not even a horrible one either. Not even a bad trout either. 
Finally got one. Come here, buddy. Oh my God. He's so fat, Jesus. I finally hooked one. Oh my God. Yes. Finally. All right, all right, come here. Not gonna hurt you. Let's go, baby. I finally caught one. I finally caught one. Let's go. First ever Alabama rainbow trout. A golf course pond rainbow. Look at him there. There he is. Hell yeah. Let's go. Who would have thought that would catch a rainbow on this trip? Don't want this guy to die, so I'm gonna give him a nice revive here. And he's away. Well, you definitely don't hear people say this every day that I caught a trout out of an Alabama golf course pond. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird, dude. That's awesome though. I'm so happy. I was actually a good one too. Not as good as some of the ones I'm seeing in here, but I was still, I was a nice rainbow. Really good fight by him too. I'm just so happy I finally hooked into one because I've heard I had six other bites that I did not hook. Finally hooked one. I'm so happy. God, it took a while. Oh, another little trout. Oh my gosh. No, this is not a trout. Is this a little bass? What the heck? Okay, it's a little bass. Chill, chill, chill. It's a tiny little bass. This is probably what I keep missing. All right, second bass of the day, technically. He is tiny. <laughs> this is probably what I keep missing. So I kept missing fish, you know? I mean, I'm sure a few of them were trout, but this might be what I keep missing. <laughs> Definitely one of the smallest bass of the year, especially caught on the lure. One of the smallest bass of the year. Get him back. Got a fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another tiny bass. Gosh darn it. Third bass today. Probably even smaller than the last one. I gotta tell you, this, probably, this, this is kinda what keeps hitting me. Right, what keeps hitting me and I keep missing. Ah, almost fell in there. Whew. Almost went down. All right. Got another one. There we go. Another trout. Right here. Oh my gosh. That is so awesome, man. Another pretty good one too, not to mention. There we go. Second trout of the day, both from relatively the same spot, actually. Look at that, guys. Heck yeah. Another nice rainbow. That is awesome, man. Hell yeah. There he goes. Good easy release. Awesome. Second try of the day. Oh, I actually got another one. No way. Wow, I was just running it really fast by the bank and I got another one. I was running it really fast by the bank to try and get it back in because I made a bad cast and I got another trout on. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Look at that. Another pretty good trout too. There we go. Another good trout. Probably the smallest of the three I've caught, but still, good fish. There we go. Look at that, guys. That is awesome. Third trout of the day. Another nice one too. I mean, these would all be just great eating trout. I don't know where they come from or anything. Oh, there he is. He's off, he's gone. Easy release right there. Got a fish. Right there, another, is it a trout? Yeah, it's a trout. That is amazing. Just gonna death roll all over the place. All right, come here, buddy. Wasn't even paying attention, man. I literally wasn't even paying attention when he bit. Fourth trout of the day right here. First trout I've actually caught that's not on that bank over there. Another trout, all about the same size, but I mean, these are nice fish. These are really nice trout. <laughs> That is so amazing, guys. Help him out here. There he goes. He's all good. Nice easy release on our fourth trout of the day. Got a fish. There we go, another trout. Another trout. Oh, this might be a nicer one too. Oh yeah, definitely a nicer one. Probably, this might be the best one of the day, actually. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Fifth trout of the day. It's not hooked as well, so I'm glad I got him in. That's the best one of the day, that's gotta be. 
Oh, there he goes. Easy release on the fifth one of the day. Didn't have, to, didn't get to touch him, unfortunately, but I still definitely did catch him. But that's awesome, man. Another big trout. Got a fish. There we go. Another fish. Can't tell how big he is yet. Probably the same size as most of the other ones. Oh yeah. Nope, same size as all the other ones. That is so awesome, man. Six trout of the day. It's just getting ridiculous now. I mean, this is better than Colorado was some days. <laughs> I, I promise I'm gonna get you off. Oh, he's off. <laughs> all right, he's off. There he goes. Six trout of the day. It's getting a little bit easier each time. They keep finding a way to release themselves, which definitely helps me. Cause they're a pain in the butt to pull up, not gonna lie. I mean, I wanna get a good shot for you guys, but they're a pain in the butt to pull up. All right guys, fortunately we have to head in, gotta go in and get some lunch. This marks the end of the summer Alabama trip. What a trip guys, what a freaking trip. And what a way to end it. Even though we're not even in summer, what a way to end it with catching six rainbow trout out of a little golf course pond along with three bass i mean how epic is that guys we're gonna get back to the house guys we'll wrap things up but i gotta tell you i'm so happy wow guys just just wow what an incredible day i could never i never in a million years would have expected that like if you told me this morning when i woke up i was gonna catch six rainbow trout and not to mention good size rainbow trout i would have thought you were insane i would have told you you're crazy but guys we did it we caught six really good size like 14 to 16 inch rainbow trout out of an alabama golf course pond like seriously who would have thought guys we caught nine fish in total today caught three bass even though two of them were tiny and then the six trout guys i mean that's just just unbelievable. I mean, I am still at a loss of words that I caught six rainbow trout out of an Alabama golf course pond. Well, guys, that about wraps up our Selma Alabama trip. Definitely a trip for the ages, guys. A great memory trip. I think we ended up catching about 23, 24 fish in the end. I think it was like, yeah, 24 fish in the end. What a great trip, guys. I'm so freaking happy. It just could not have ended better. It ended exactly the way I wanted it to, and it just it could not have gone better. Anyway, folks, really hope you enjoyed this video and the whole series. If you did, remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to Fishy ATX. It would greatly help me out, guys. What a great ending to our Selma, Alabama trip. I will see you guys next time. Back out. I'm a water.